Hi, welcome back to my channel. We are doing makeup today. I'm gonna try the Siren Eyes thing. We'll see how it goes. I did already put on sunscreen, Native SPF 30, and then I put Cetaphil Deep Hydration Moisturizer. I'm also gonna put on this serum, Pacifica Glow Baby Booster Serum, because I want a really glowy look today. Does this expire? Probably. Whatever. It's really hot right now. Currently where I live, it is 87 degrees. I don't have AC going, but I'm kind of sweaty, so I'm really just spreading sweat around my face. Nice and glowy. Okay, I'm gonna start with my base. I'm gonna use the Skin Tint from Morphe 2. I haven't used it before, so we'll see how it goes. I think I got the right shade. Well, we're gonna find out. Ooh, that is liquidy. Okay, I think it's fine. I don't have a mirror. Oh, I guess it'd go better if I could blend it in instead of just <laughs> smushing it on my face. It does just look like my regular skin, which is nice. Hide and Peak Concealer Morphe 2. This one's lighter than I'm used to, so we'll see how well it blends in. Well enough. I think I like the Kosas Concealer better for skin match. This one I think is a little better for under eyes because it's brightening. Fuck, it's really hot in here. I always forget to wet my sponge. Let's just go over this once, get some moisture in there, cool my face off, and make sure everything's nice and blended. Feels really good. <laughs> Tarte Breezy Cream Bronzer, Shade Seychelles. I've been looking for something more cool toned to contour instead of this bronzer, um, but I haven't really been able to find anything. Everything seems pretty warm toned, unless I'm just bad at knowing what tones are, which is also an option. I want a really light pink on my cheeks, so I'm gonna use this e.l.f. blush palette. I have this lightest shade pink down here. I'm gonna see how that looks. Okay, I like that. e.l.f. is one of my favorite makeup brands. I also really love, I don't know if it's pronounced NYX or NYX, but I buy a lot of their stuff, you know, as far as drugstore products go. I like the cruelty-free products. I really like the Kosas foundation. I think that's my favorite so far. I'm not gonna use powder because I want a really glowy look, even though I just used a powder blush, whatever. Precisely my brow pencil, Benefit Cosmetics. We're gonna go with a really fluffy look, as if I know how to do anything else, really. <laughs> Basically, I'm just not gonna use gel. I feel like my eyebrows have been looking a lot better lately. Are those even? probably good enough and I'm gonna stop messing with it cuz otherwise I'll end up with like sharpie lines across my forehead <laughs> this is my inspiration pick it still has that siren effect like towards the edge but a little pink in it and sparkles which I like I'm going to start with this Sephora palette fresh florals it has like all these pinky shades in it and nice shimmers okay shade rosebud on the top part of the lid I also have this e.l.f. rose gold nude palette that I'm gonna dip into a little bit. If you have this palette, I'm using the third one over from the left. Put that on the whole lid. And then my original palette shade Petal. Just gonna sweep that over the top and see what happens. So it's on the main part of the lid. I think I'm gonna try and sweep it more like up and out. I think I'm gonna darken up the crease a little bit. I'm gonna use shade Orchid from the Flower Petal palette. Okay, it's going darker than I was anticipating. It's fine, I feel like I can work with this. I don't know why I always struggle with my left eye. The right eye always turns out fine. Ow. What in the hell? Okay, and take that same shade Orchid under the eye to darken that up a bit. I think I'm gonna use shade Dew on the lid, just with my finger. I guess that sort of gold in the middle. Oh, that's really pretty. I think I'm gonna start with brown eyeliner, the e.l.f. eyeliner pen. I like pens better than like brushes and pencils and stuff, I don't know why. And I'm gonna follow the bottom lash line up to the corner of my eyebrow. Ish. And sort of connect it just to the outer third of my eye. I'm not gonna go all the way across. Okay, and I'm just gonna lengthen the wing a bit more. Do we think that's too long? No. Part of me wants to smudge it, but last time I tried to do that, it turned out really weird. <laughs> I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Are those even? 
Length, yes. Angle, not so much. Let's try to fix it. Okay, I'm gonna call that good on the outer edge. I am going to work on the inner corner now and sort of just like extend it in a little. Should I do it with eyeliner? We're gonna try it and if I mess up, I'll just erase it, wipe it off. That's what I meant to say. Inner corner kind of extending the lash line. I'm just following the shape of the top lash line down the same way we followed the shape of the bottom lash line up. I am gonna grab my pencil liner. I'm gonna go under the lash line on top and tight line that. Do the same thing with the bottom line. And I'm probably gonna smudge it a little bit lower too. This is the e.l.f. No Budge Retractable Liner Shade Coffee. And I just brought that all the way around the entire bottom lash line. Smudge it a little bit. Ignore my makeup face, none of your business. I have to fix the inner corner of my left eye because what did I do to it? I think I need a brighter shimmer on the lid. What's this? The e.l.f. Cream and Sugar Palette. It's a little bite-sized palette. It has more of a gold in it. I don't think that's bright enough. I have the e.l.f. Everyday Smoky palette. This white shade might help. I just want like a really bright lid and the previous shade was not doing it for me. Should I go to Starbucks? I think I'm going to. Okay, and then we're gonna do the inner corner a little bit. And let's put a little of that white sort of on the top, like a highlighter almost. Ooh, I like that. You know, I'm also just gonna use this highlighter on the rest of my face, cause I'm already in it. We love multi-purpose products. Let's do eyelashes. I want really big curly eyelashes to emphasize. And by the way, I got this eyelash curler for a dollar at the dollar store, Elf Big Mood Mascara. And I do mascara on the top and bottom. I think it helps with that sort of smudged look. This always stresses me out because like, I obviously don't want to rip out any eyelashes, you know? I need to do my lips. Okay, and when I was at Target, I got some new lip colors. This is the NYX Lip Pencil Shade Natural. I'm hoping it matches my lip color really well because I don't have one that's the perfect shade for my lip color. And it always trips me out to see my lips a different color than I normally see them. Don't know why. Ooh, look how sharp that is. I think I found it. Also, I keep thinking about how easy it would have been to move you over here so that I was facing the light and you could see my entire face, but we're, we've already done it, so we're almost done. There's no point. I like that. We are going to also try the NYX Lingerie XXL Liquid Lipstick. What shade is this? Turn on. Don't think I've ever used a liquid lipstick before. Oh, okay. I can't decide how I feel. I never use like lip products. I usually just color in my whole lip with liner if I do anything. I don't think I have enough highlighter on. The Rare Beauty Liquid Luminizer Shade Enlighten. I need chapstick. Oh, actually, wait. <gasps> I have this Diamond Lip Plumber by Physicians Formula. I'm gonna put that on and then it'll add a little shimmer to the lip and make them juicy. I'm gonna move you into the light so we get a full effect. Okay, this is what happened. I don't necessarily know that I did the Siren Eye right. I feel like I just have really big eyes in general so it's like hard to make them look smaller and more fox-like. I don't know how I feel about this. It also looks different in my mirror than it does on the screen. I look very pale here, and I look more tan and glowy in real life. Whatever, it's done. That was pretty much it. I'll put a list of all the products I used in the description. Okay, I'm back. I went and looked in the mirror and had some thoughts. I mean, I'm gonna smoke it out a little bit, so I'm just gonna take this tight brush just across the top, sort of make it look a bit softer, I guess. It should be noted though that this is what happened last time. I tried smoking it out and it got like really big and out of control. And I still ended up with a look that I was okay with, but it wasn't the intended look. Okay, I'm gonna stop touching it. 
I know I already did setting spray, but it felt really good. <laughs> now we're gonna call it good, and if I don't like it, then tough tater tots. Bye for real this time. <laughs> I don't know why I just thought of Jumanji. Is that weird?